Hello everybody, this is Textbook1987, and I'm going to try to provide some commentary for my solo Oryx challenge. I completed this challenge on normal mode on January 23rd, 2016, on Destiny the Taken King version 2.1. I used a Sunsinger Warlock at light level 319. First thing I'm doing here is trying to generate special ammo drops from the Thrall. By standing here on this little ledge, I can gather the Thrall and kill them all with one grenade. While doing this, I currently have a sniper rifle and rocket launcher equipped, and each has this surplus perk. The surplus perk doubles the ammo in each drop, but because the perk stacks, if you have two guns equipped and they both have surplus, you actually get four times the ammo per drop. And that perk applies when the ammo is generated and remains in the packs, uh, even if you switch out the guns at a later time. Uh, a special ammo with, that would normally have 5 to 6 sniper shots uh, would have 20 to 24 shots doing this. So I'm going to switch back to my, my actual weapons that I'm going to use during the fight. That's a 1,000 yard stair at level 320. That's the vendor version. A 320 sleeper simulant and a 320 smite of moraine. Uh, use the heavy synthesis and get 12 sleeper simulant shots using the carry more heavy ammo perk on Starfire Protocol. After fusion rifles were adjusted in update 2.1, stunning Oryx solo requires three shots from a 320 sleeper simulant, so you want as much heavy as you can possibly get. For callouts, I'm going to use the Oryx side as the front side of the map, and the door side as the back side of the map. I'm, uh, I'm getting the ogres low, but I'm not killing them. And uh, the back side, I want to try to get dangerously low uh, by getting five critical shots. The front side I want to leave with a little bit more health. I want to get four precision shots and one non-precision. Uh, this is just for the first round. For later rounds, uh, which side you get lower depends on where the vessel will be. Uh, after preparing the ogres, you want to get into position to stagger Oryx, and you gotta you gotta shoot as soon as his chest starts opening, and you gotta be pretty close to him so that there's no range drop off. Immediately after he staggers, you have to quickly go back and kill the ogres that you uh, got dangerously low, and then enrage the other side and lure them to that, that first side and kill them. What you're trying to do here is um, stack the bombs and killing the ogres in a, in a spot where the, the bomb detonation areas overlap, so you can detonate all four at one time. And uh, after you do that, make sure you get damage on uh, Orcs' chest within one second before the bombs explode. Immediately after the, the bombs explode, I use the uh, Fireborn self-resurrection to come back to life. And then do the Mortars phase. During Mortars, if I do damage on the Taken Knights, uh, I'll earn super energy when the Mortars phase ends, and I'll possibly get ammo drops from those, those enemies. Killing the Ogres, stacking the bombs, and detonating them all has to be done very quickly. Uh, you have about 40 seconds from the time Oryx's chest opens to when bombs have to have already exploded. So that's um, it's a few seconds to stagger, it's a few seconds to jump up, a few seconds to kill the back ogres, uh, you know, five or more seconds to lure the other ones, a few seconds to detonate, and then run and, and get shots on them. So the, the times add up. If the bombs do not explode within that 40 seconds, uh, Oryx regains the favor of darkness and takes no damage. Uh, I said before that I wouldn't necessarily just be doing the, the back ogres lower this time. It depends on the vessel's position. So the vessel is currently on the front side of the map. So I'm going to try to get the, the front vessels, uh, the front ogres, much lower than the back ones. And then I, uh, I need to get in position to stagger again. 
So I got four bombs the first round. What I'm actually hoping to get here is three bombs. I don't want to get four because that will put me into the shade too early. Uh, three bombs would be nice because uh, it's the most damage, but avoiding shade. Unfortunately, the ogres are, are pretty spread out during this round, so I'm going to have to work with what I'm given and, and just go for these two bombs that are overlapping. And unfortunately, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. Um, if ogres are, are way spread apart like that, there's not a whole lot uh, you can do. You, you don't have enough time to wait for them to get together. You have to you have to do it very quick. Again, I'm resurrecting after the the bombs explode, getting ammo, and uh, doing the mortars phase. Since I got four bombs in the first round and two bombs there, that's six. Uh, eight will, will put me into the shade phase, so um, I'm going to go into the shade regardless of this next round, so I want to do as many as possible. Four bombs would be nice on round three. doing this little jump here to try to get the, the, the vessel to stay on the back side of the map. It's a little bit easier when the vessel is on the, the opposite side of Oryx. But we'll see how, how he behaves. He, he switches sides quite often and you gotta adjust. So for these first two ogres, since I don't know which side the vessel is going to be on, I just go for the four precision and one non-precision. Now, on this back ogre, it looks like the, the vessel is staying in the back, so I went for five precision shots on him. And it does look like he's staying there this time, so uh, I'm going to get that back left ogre a little bit lower because I only got the, the four precision shots on him from earlier. Immediately after the stagger, I have to go kill those back ogres and lure the front ones. Now, while you're um, after you've enraged the ogres and, and lured them back, you inevitably walk into the detonation areas of the bombs that are on the ground, and that will start heating them up. Um, you have to get out of them and let the bombs cool down. So I'm walking through the back bombs right now, and they're heating up. You can see them turning white. I have to jump up in the air, wait for them to cool down, and then land once they're cool. Or else the bombs will be out of sync and I won't be able to do full damage. But it looks like I detonated all four at the same time, so if I get this, these shots in, it should do four bombs worth of damage, and it, and it did. So four to four is ten bombs in three rounds, which is pretty good. For the shade phase, I have to kill the shade within uh, 60 seconds of being teleported. I try to use one of my fusion grenades immediately after his first teleport. Uh, I think I missed it. Uh, and save the other fusion grenade for when he comes in to slam his sword. When he comes in to slam, try to get a shot on him while he's entering the bubble, and then jump over his head to get him to slam early. And then once he uh, flies back up, try to clear some of the thrall that are in there so that you they're not doing damage to you and taking your focus away. Once he shows back up again, though, refocus on him to try to get him killed quick. Immediately after the shade phase, I need to uh, pick up more special ammo because I used so much on the shade, and that's where those surplus special ammo drops from earlier come in handy. Oryx now moves to the front right side because he was on the left for the first three rounds. And again, I don't know where the vessel's going to be, so I don't want to get five crits on the, uh, the front ogres yet. I don't know where the vessel's going to end up. 
I jump up uh, and take a look, and it looks like the vessel's being uh, going to stay on the back. Uh, so I try to go for five crits on this ogre. Then I jump across, and I see that the vessel has moved back to the front side. So even though I uh, I got the the back left ogre really low, if he doesn't die, then um, uh, it, it's okay. Uh, because the vessel moved to the front side, I gotta get those ogres uh, health dangerously low. I do that, and then I get in position and stagger works, and I have to kill those front ogres because that's where the vessel is. You kind of have to wait for the vessel uh, to move to the other side, other otherwise they're immune. Those ogres are. So here, um, one of the bombs is, uh, is much further away from the other three, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for the three that are grouped together. And make sure that I get shots on before they explode. That should be 13 bombs worth of damage in four rounds. So on the, the fifth and final round, if I can get uh, three more bombs, that's 16. Before I can do that, I gotta worry about the shade again. Uh, while I'm killing the shade here, I want to make a note about the fifth round. Uh, because of Oryx's pattern, the fifth round, Oryx is always going to be on the back side of the map. He's going to e either be back left or back right, depending on where he started. Um, and then immediately after the fifth round, if you've done enough bombs uh, worth of damage, if you've done 16, he'll do the final stand at the front of the map. Because he's on the back, and then he immediately goes to the front of the ship, you actually want to kind of stay as close to the front, uh, like to the middle of the map as possible when you're shooting Oryx uh, before the bombs explode. I actually don't do this. So this is a, it's actually one area of improvement that I can see watching my own video. You also want to make sure that you have at least six sleeper simulant shots. You need three to do the initial stagger, and then three more for final stand. So I have seven sleeper shots, so I have enough for both the, the stagger during the fifth round, and then the final stand. And again, I don't know where the vessel is going to be, so I'm going for four precision, one non-precision until I know where he's going to end up. And I take a look here, and it looks like he's staying on the front side of the map. So I go for, for five crits here. And he's still on the front, so I'll go for four on the, this back ogre. And uh, I want to get these, these ogres a little bit lower. The vessel's still on the front. Stagger Oryx and, and try to get the three bombs needed. Uh, one more thing I'll say about Final Stand when he runs up to the front of the ship. He has two different animations for Final Stand. One where his chest is already open and one where his chest is closed and he opens it up and does the animation. Uh, after the fusion rifles were adjusted in update 2.1 with Sleeper now requiring three shots to stun him. If his chest is closed for final stand, it is now impossible to do this challenge. You have to have the animation where his chest is already open for, for final stand. And immediately, as soon as possible, self-res and quickly get to the front of the ship and hope that his chest is already open. It's, it's all up, up to luck, there's no way to make it open, but here his chest is open. <laughs> you want to fire as soon as possible. I uh, I failed final stand eight times. I, I made it to final stand, and through a number of reasons, I was not able to stagger him here until this run. And two of those times, his chest was open, uh, and I still failed because I didn't shoot quick enough. You want to shoot as soon as you can see any white light at all. Just start charging.